two things I learned in the last month. This is an apple, and it's pretty much legal to bribe a politician in the United States. Out in Newark, New Jersey, less than 15 miles from this sad excuse for a news studio, the Menendez trial has just wrapped up. Just a normal kid. You're a normal kid who killed your parents. Yeah, I know. No, not those guys. I'm talking about Senator Bob Menendez, a Democrat from New Jersey. He didn't kill anyone like those brothers did. But if you're someone who thinks the swamp needs to be drained, who thinks politicians can't be trusted, that corruption in government is too widespread, then this case is super important. Here's the backstory. Senator Menendez was accused of corruption. Prosecutors claim he accepted bribes from a wealthy eye doctor, this dude named Solomon Melgan, in exchange for political favors. These alleged bribes included flights on private jets, use of a Caribbean villa, a stay at a luxury hotel in Paris, Menendez requested a room with a limestone bath, by the way, and golf outings. These things always involve golf. In return for all those gifts from Melgan, who was a con artist, and I could say that because he was convicted of Medicaid fraud back in April, Senator Menendez did a bunch of favors for him. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. According to the indictment, Melgan owed the government a lot of money because of a scam he was running, approximately $9 million. But his buddy Senator Menendez intervened and tried to make that pesky $9 million bill go away. Menendez also helped Melgan get visas for his foreign girlfriends, not credit cards, but travel documents. And the New Jersey Center did other fishy stuff for Melgan, too. These are all accusations made by the government, but Menendez's main defense in court wasn't that he didn't receive all this, or he didn't do Melgan those favors I just talked about. The defense was basically, who, Solomon Melgan? He and I are just buddies. Buddies pay for private jets and help foreign mistresses get difficult to obtain travel permissions? It's normal friendship stuff. And the jury sort of bought it. After days of deliberation, they couldn't reach a verdict and a mistrial was declared. That means Menendez is off the hook, for now at least. Now, you could blame the jurors for this outcome, but many legal experts blame the Supreme Court. Specifically, a 2016 Supreme Court decision, McDonald versus USA. This is the case I was alluding to earlier when I said it's practically legal to bribe a politician. This case involves Bob McDonald, the former Republican governor of Virginia. He was accused of accepting bribes from a businessman promoting a dietary supplement. You cannot make this sleazy shit up. More than accused, McDonald was actually convicted, and it's easy to understand why. The governor and his wife received Rolexes, iPhones, Louis Vuitton shoes, the use of a Ferrari, golf outings and golf accessories, again with the golf, always with the golf, loans worth tens of thousands of dollars, and a bunch of other gifts. In exchange for all this, prosecutors demonstrated Governor McDonald peddled the dietary supplements to state agencies, exerted influence to try and get a study funded, and even hosted a product launch at the governor's mansion. McDonald appealed the guilty verdict, and when the Supreme Court looked it over, they were like, meh, none of that bothers us. McDonald could go free. If you're confused or outraged that a politician could receive $175,000 in gifts like McDonald did, from a wealthy constituent and then use the influence of his office to advance the constituent's business interest? Join the club. Yet, somehow, all nine Supreme Court justices voted to vacate McDonald's conviction. The Chief Justice, John Roberts, wrote the decision, and in it, he made two really interesting points. Both these points pertain to 18 U.S. Code 201. That's the law about bribing a public official. Both these points are related to the definition of legal phrases. The first is quid pro quo, a Latin term that means this for that. Why they put it in Latin, I'm not sure, but it's probably to make you feel stupid. Art, what the hell are you saying? That's Latin, Dad. The language of Plutarch. But anyway, quid pro quo. Basically, that means what you give and what you expect in return. If there is a clear and direct relationship between what a politician gets and what he gives in return, that could be illegal. Let me use an example. One of the gifts McDonald got was a full-length white leather jacket, presumably for his wife. That's the quid. One of the things he did was set up a meeting between the dietary supplements dude and the Virginia Secretary of Health and Human Resources. That's the quo. Now, if it was a clear exchange, I am giving you this leather jacket so that you set up that meeting, that would be a quid pro quo, and a very bizarre one. But if there's no direct link between the quid and the quo, then, at least according to the Supreme Court, it's just a gift. It's not a payoff, it's a gift. You son of a bitch.
And that's basically what the Menendez defense was, that he got all that stuff just because, not in exchange for something specific, no quid pro quo. Now, even if there is a clear relationship and prosecutors can prove it, say there's an email record or a taped telephone call that clearly shows the leather jacket was given to set up that meeting, it still might not be a crime. If I'm not mistaken, no. you just tried to bribe a federal oh, officer. No, technically ah, I didn't bribe anybody. No, no, that's not the that's no, 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 no. That brings us to the second point and the second legal phrase, this time mercifully in plain English. It's official act. What's an official act? An official act is something a politician does that is an essential part of their job. So for a congressman, it would be voting on a bill. For a governor, it includes making a political appointment or awarding a business contract to someone. But what else is an official act? And what is just normal, routine, everyday stuff that doesn't rise to official status? Well, in McDonald versus USA, the Supreme Court appeared to narrow what official act meant. So when McDonald's set up that meeting between the Secretary of Health and Human Resources and the dietary supplement dude, that didn't rise to the definition of official act because setting up meetings isn't really an official part of the governor's job description. The Supreme Court pretty much said setting up a meeting is just a routine courtesy. Although, if you're not wealthy, powerful, and well-connected, you might not find it to be so routine. But this is a big part of the reason McDonald and now Menendez are free. However, when prosecutors are able to prove there was a clear quid pro quo that resulted in an official act, then the politician will go to jail. You're offering to pay us money to not do our job. Not a bribe. That's what happened to Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich. He was caught trying to exchange a political appointment, the Senate seat vacated by soon-to-be President Barack Obama, for cash. It was caught on tape. So cash for a political appointment, clear quid pro quo. The political appointment part, clear official act, clear corruption. He was convicted, but not before appearing on The Celebrity Apprentice. You're fired. Thank you. If someone were to give you gifts over a long period of time, wouldn't you feel pressure to do them a solid, perhaps give them an unfair advantage, even if they didn't explicitly ask for it? And are you comfortable with your politicians, folks whose salary is paid with your tax dollars, doing favors for people who give them things like first-class plane tickets and gold Oscar de la Renta dresses? Dresses, plural, as in two? There was two of them? One former prosecutor wrote about the McDonald decision, it's a win for McDonald, but a loss for anyone concerned about public corruption and the influence of money in politics. Indeed, legal experts think that this is a win for bribery and corruption and for politicians who put a for sale sign on their integrity, like Republican Governor Bob McDonnell or Democratic Senator Robert Menendez. And perhaps that's why trust in government is so low. And the most bipartisan issue in America right now is, these guys suck. So these are just some of the things that McDonald and his family got from the dietary supplements guy. I guess I can't call them bribes since the Supreme Court said that they weren't. But we sent our interns out to look for props that resembled these gifts. I guess they did an okay job. I figured I'd also just read to you all the stuff the McDonald's got. Black Rebecca Minkoff shoes, black Louis Vuitton shoes, white Louis Vuitton shoes, cream Louis Vuitton, purse cream Louis Vuitton wallet, silver Rolex watch engraved with 71st governor of Virginia. Nice little touch there. Yellow Peter Som dress, blue Armani jacket and two matching dresses, two gold Oscar de la Renta dresses, black Louis Vuitton raincoat, gold Oscar de la Renta sweater, one pair of Amelia Rose ear earrings, one gear sweatshirt, two pair of Foot Joy golf shoes, one button down Ralph Lauren shirt, one white Peter Millar golf shirt, one baby blue striped Peter Millar golf shirt, one royal blue Peter Millar golf shirt, one aqua fairway green tech golf shirt, a lot of golf. One striped Ralph Lauren golf shirt, one Ping University of Virginia golf bag, one Ping Kinlock golf bag, one Sun Mountain Notre Dame golf bag. How many golf bags does one person need? Two sets of golf clubs, one Heather McKenzie watercolor and frame, two iPhones, 30 boxes of that dietary supplement, uh, $15,000 towards a catering bill for the McDonald's daughter's wedding, uh, yard work, plane tickets, golf trips, Fancy dinners, vacations, and cash. Uncle Sam thanks you for watching. Jack Coin 2020.